In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a wax candle or a white oil pastel to create a wax resist underneath your watercolour paintings. This gives you a similar effect to using masking fluid, although it's a little bit different. It's a bit harder to control and some of the paint seeps through, which can give you some quite nice results. It's something that I do with the kids in school and I wondered whether it might work with my proper watercolours rather than the cheap ones that I do with them there. So it was actually quite good fun and I thought that I would share it with you. I don't know if it was something that I would do for proper finished pictures but it was just a fun little technique that is quite good because it's like magic when you can see the painting appear in front of your eyes because of where you've put the wax resist. So you're going to need some watercolours and you'll need a fairly large brush for doing the wash over the top I'm adding in some salt here and I've got a wax candle um, and I've also got a white oil pastel because I wanted to try a little bit of both and see what the difference was. So I sharpened it just with a knife just so that I could get quite a sharp edge and this one I didn't plan out. I just thought I would do some trees so I'm just doing some lines down the page with the wax candle. You can't see where you're doing it because obviously the candle is clear. So it's a little bit of guesswork. But for me, that is part of the charm because you don't quite know what your picture is going to look like until you've painted. So I used the white oil pastel, which was thinner, to do some branches. Although I couldn't really see where my tree lines were very easily. That's why I'm holding the paper at an angle because I can see the shininess of the wax when I hold the paper at an angle. I wasn't really going for perfection here and then I did some little dots at the bottom and then finally I took the candle and I kind of just very gently rubbed it over the top to see what effect I would get with that. And then with quite a watery wash you can see that when you put the paint over the top where you've applied the wax stays white and the colour goes on all the other bits so you don't need to paint around to get the shapes you can just do a wash straight over. I can imagine that if I did this in a little bit more of a controlled way it could be quite a good technique. So I did just a variety of colours, I just wanted to see how the different colours reacted with the wax resist, so I kind of did almost like a rainbow effect going down, washing my paint down and dropping in other colours. This is a really fun, kind of relaxing, easy, easy watercolour thing to do. It's just a kind of almost like a little bit of playing. It's super fun to do with kids. They love it because, it, like I said, it is like magic. Your picture kind of appears like magic on the page. So kids absolutely love this technique. see the little dots at the bottom and then I just added a kind of a little bit of a second layer on top to darken up the sky a little bit.
now I'm just tipping up my page so that the paint runs just to create some interesting effects and finally I added some salt and then I put it aside to dry so while I was waiting for this one to dry I thought that I would try a second one which wasn't quite as successful but I'm going to show you anyway so I was trying with some different colors of crayons here just to see whether that would look okay or do anything so I'm just drawing a little kind of landscape with some leaves and grasses and flowers and using the different colors of these are just cheap cheap kids crayons make sure that you do this with the crayons that are not water soluble so you want, wouldn't want to use for example the new color twos which are water soluble you want the waxy crayons because they are what resists the paint so you're going to see this picture this magic picture emerging i think where i went wrong with this one was those mountains at the top were the wrong color and i kind of ended up using too many colors in my picture as well i should have kept it a little bit more simple but it's okay when you make mistakes like this because it's like lessons to be learned so that the next time you do your painting you know how you would change it to make it better drawn a little hair can you see him coming to life behind the colors <laughs> and I realized while I was doing this that the, the, the wax candle uh, resists a little bit better than the oil pastel it may just be the oil pastel that I had and also don't expect to get really sharp smooth lines quite a lot of the paint will kind of seep in um, but I think that that gives quite a nice effect so so thank you so much for watching this short little video and I would love to hear in the comments if you've tried this out and what kind of results you got if you enjoyed my video I would love it if you subscribed and I will leave a link down below to all my social media and I also do online courses over at lucysartlab.com so if you're interested in those you can go ahead and check that out see you in the next video